Hi guys, Twitch here from Creep Designs. I don't know if you can tell, but it is bloody hot here today in sunny Queensland. It is starting to warm up. Um, before we continue, don't forget to subscribe. And if you would like to try and support me in any way possible, that would be great. Um, you can find ways to support me through my link tree which will be in the description so there you'll be able to find all the companies that I work with um, to so that you can purchase products they're not all affiliate links but the ones that are affiliate links help me, help me support my family and continue doing the work that I do um, or you could buy me a coffee like pretend to have a cuppa together there's absolutely no obligation to do any of that stuff it's just it does support me and my business and my family and I appreciate any kind of support I can get. So without further ado, let's get it on. So we're in desperate need of some egg storage now that we've got four chickens and I have got all these drawers laying around that were given to me um, and I'll be making use of this one. So I'm going to start by cutting the strip off the back of it so that it sits flush to the wall. I'm just measuring it up based on the sides of the drawers and cutting it off with my jigsaw. I'm just using a piece of scrap plywood. I believe this is 6mm plywood. I might have been 12mm. We'll say 12 mil. Uh, measuring the depth of the drawer and then using that to mark out the strips or the lengths that I need for each of the eggshells. Just measuring and cutting the lengths now and then I will test to see that they all fit and where they're all going to go. Now I'm using these smaller pieces to cut little resting blocks, whatever you want to call them. And these will be on attached to the sides, the inner sides. These will be for the shelves to sit on to give them some support. Now I'm measuring down the center of the lengths of the eggshells and then for each egg hole I'm measuring I think it was 60 mil in between each center point. I'm starting the holes off with a small drill hole to help get the bigger drill hole started so it helps center those points to start off with. Moving up to a larger drill bit now. So like I said, I started off with a smaller drill bit to get them started and get them centered. Moving up to the larger drill bit because it will help me get it started for the spade bit that I'm going to use. These spade bits are from Audi. I only got these to test them out to see if I, it was something that I would use a lot. I haven't used them a great deal. Um, they're not obviously not the best quality, but I will be getting better quality ones at some point. I start off drilling on the underside first and then flip them over and do the top side because that way it won't cut, it won't bust through on the other side and split the surface and that way you get a cleaner, cleaner hole. 
Um, ideally, I would have had whole saw, a whole saw kit for doing this. Um, these ones, I'm, this one I'm keeping, so it's not that big a deal. Uh, but I will be getting a whole saw kit to do some more of these to put up for sale. So I'm just rolling up a piece of the mesh sandpaper from Sleek Australia, Sleek Brushes Australia, and rolling it up and using that to sand inside the holes. Ideally a Dremel would get this job done a lot better, but I'm working with what I've got and not everyone can afford a Dremel. Cleaning out the inside of the drawers with Cartsamilli Clean Cut and then going over it with clean water and a clean rag before scuff sanding the whole piece. Now I'm starting off with Carts and Millie primer and adhesive bond. I was lazy at this point because it was warm and wanted to just dump some in there and just brush it all around. This primer actually has a really good work time so I wasn't in a great rush to spread it around because I had plenty of time to work with it. For some reason I forgot to record the first coat, but this is three ducks. So cuts and Millie three ducks, uh, boutique furniture paint. And this is me putting on the second coat and using the misting bottle to help spread it around. Now I'm using a Gemini creative stencil. Uh, can't remember what it's called but it is a chicken wire stencil um, just want this one to be subtle so I'm just using a stencil brush and cut some Millie Daisy's milk using very little paint on the brush and I've got the paint just on a piece of foil and just dipping it dabbing off the bulk of it and just using an almost dry brush to swell it around and dab it and rub it in I didn't want this to be pristine and full coverage all over so I've just kind of done it a little bit patchy and a little bit broken like broken chicken wire. Using Daisy's Milk to paint the little shelf blocks and the shelves before I install them just because it'll be easier to paint them and this way I won't get daisy's milk all over my freshly stenciled background. Now that I'm ready to install them, I'm using my Ozito staple and nail gun to install them. Because I can't get the get a lot of pressure behind the staple gun in this position, I'm having to just tap the nails in a little bit after using the staple gun. Putting a little bit of glue on first and then nailing them into place. This is a great little staple gun, staple and nail gun for $20. It gets the job done for small crafty jobs. Um, I definitely recommend it for simple little things or if you just want to test something out and if you're not sure if it's something you'll actually use a great deal. Now that the shelves are in place I'm just tucking some nails in the side as well to hold them in position. So I had a brain fart and forgot to put egg holes in the bottom of the drawer, so in the bottom shelf. So I just quickly 
ran the drill through and made some holes in the bottom part, cleaned them up and painted it. I decided to do a little bit of distressing with this, um, just with 240 grit sandpaper from Sleek Brushes Australia. I was going to use some uh, transfers on the backdrop on top of the stencil but I decided to keep this one a little bit simpler and just put a farmhouse stencil and some leaves on the top of it. These are from a pack of redesigned transfers. So redesign with Prima or Primer, not sure how to pronounce it. Um, I had been told in the past that these one, this is my first time using redesign. I have been told in the past that these ones are harder to use than others, but I don't know if it's the paint or what, but these went on like an absolute breeze, very easy to use. So I'm sealing it with Cards and Millie Boutique Hemp Salve and my wax brush. Um, just sealing the outer parts where the transfer is and around the edges and the sides. I'm not concerned about doing the back of it or the eggshells. It's going to get a little grubby and grimy. It's going to have unwashed eggs in it. I mean there's going to be feathers, there's probably going to be poop, chicken poop. Um, it's going to get old and grubby. It's you know, that's the look I'm going for, so I'm not concerned about it. But this is perfect for what I need it for, just a really simple quick seal for the outside parts. And there we have it, my egg storage. Um, I will be making more but with a whole saw kit this time so they'll turn out better and I will put up photos. Uh, thank you for watching, please remember to like and subscribe.